A friend indeed. I almost read the description again. All I saw is that it said Pinkie Pie, so this is gonna be terrible. Um, based on this picture, it's kind of hard to not look at the picture. It's what, she's just gonna try to make friends with someone and they're gonna be lonely. Actually, this could be another Brony episode. <laughs> Like, maybe this is about, like, someone being lonely and then an extrovert. Basically the idea that an extrovert adopts an introvert. I remember reading that somewhere. It was kind of a joke, but it is kind of true. Like, an extrovert basically finds an introvert and adopts them. <laughs> and that's how an introvert makes friends. I doubt this episode's gonna be that deep, though. Just cannot see why anyone likes this. It's just the shittiest thing. Also can't believe I'm on episode 18 of season 2. What is that? Like, I'm, I'm almost 50 episodes in. Like, I'm still a ways away from that, but... <sighs> Ah, this fucking cunt again. The fuck is she doing? I want to die. Oh, that's the baby characters again. So is there gonna be some level of continuity? Are these idiots being introduced before? I could just turn off the volume right now, press Alt F4, and end my suffering. Nope. Wait a minute. So she said cookies to go with your milk, so, so what, is the cow gonna drink her own milk? That's fucking weird. Actually, what would happen if you just- <laughs> If an animal- <laughs> If an animal just drank their own milk and nothing else, like what would happen? Would they just stop producing milk because they wouldn't have any calories? Okay, so, she, so she's walking through town. Everyone's her friend, and then there's gonna be one idiot that's not her friend, and she's gonna have to make friends with them. Fuck more singing. I guess one thing I've noticed is that there's been like some repetition of the characters, like consistency as the background characters in some cases. Like these two, I have no idea what those are. Like some of the same background characters have been there, which gives some level of continuity. So there's that. I'm I'm reaching so hard to try and find things that, that I can appreciate with this. Also, talking makes this song less painful, because then I can't hear it as loudly. Only way that I will grin is if this show ends with her with Pinky getting decapitated. That would make me so happy. And then she's actually dead. <laughs> and then they just edit her out of the intro. Just pretend as if she never was there. <laughs> that would make me happy. <sighs> song is so painfully upbeat. God! This entire show is just like watching a car crash unfold, watching someone fly out of the windshield, their guts and blood just smattered across the windshield and pavement on the ground. And it's like, it's so horrible, and I want to look away, but I just can't. I just have to look at this horrible thing unfold in front of me. That's what this is. There's nothing to gain from watching it other than, other than pain, but I can't look away. And there's the idiot who's not gonna be happy. Okay, so this asshole, wait, is he actually a donkey? So he's, yeah, he's actually an ass. <laughs> Um, so, so, so this character is basically everyone who's like me. Except the difference is at the end of this episode, he's gonna be happy, and I'm just gonna be more angry. Wait, seriously? Oh my god! <sighs> okay, that melody is definitely just a classic nursery rhyme song. What is that? Is that Yankee Doodle? How am I not just immediately knowing that that is? It's Yankee Doodle, right? What is this, like, felt background? That's kind of a weird sudden animation shift. Something I said? Yes, it's that you exist. Oh my fucking god. This is so bad. I really hope that he doesn't end up liking her at the end. Because, because then the lesson would be that, that like some people just aren't going to be compatible with other people. This is the best character in the entire show. This is the only realistic character. What is this? The third song? In a 20 minute episode. There's already three songs. It's not even half over. What the fuck? Okay, so now she's introvertedly making fun of him. Yep, and he's still suffering. What the fuck? I hope he just throws it on the ground and stomps it. No? Is he really going to be become her friend? Which makes no sense. Some people are just incompatible. Is this, did he have like a wife that that died? I feel like that's way too dark for a show like this. If anything, they probably just got like they broke up or whatever. Is it gonna break? <laughs> Everything's gonna burn down. Oh my gosh. So now he's really angry because now she ruined his important book. Forever. Forever. Oh my god. That, fucking... ah, that pun. Holy shit. Except that Cranky is gonna be an exception. Is that actually gonna be the lesson? Which is what it should be. I mean, she's right. She's an annoying piece of shit. I just have nothing to say about these. It's just. Ah. This is just such a representation of how I feel about this garbage. I'm kind of curious what they're gonna make this special friend to be. I was assume it's his wife or something. Wait, what? What does she know the special friend? Okay, so she reunites with- she re- she reunites them. Oh, there's the note. <sighs> okay. So she reunites and then now I guess they'll appreciate her. I guess that was kind of an interesting story. I didn't entirely see that- I didn't really see that coming. But now he's gonna smile. <laughs> That is so creepy looking. Whatever. Is this another song? <sighs> 
What the fuck? They actually changed the outro music. It's unusual for this shit. So I'm really not sure how I feel about this episode. Basically the plot is that this, well first it just has this ridiculous montage or whatever about how Pinky's friends with everyone and then there's this donkey idiot that walks up and he's like all depressed and then Pinky tries to make friends with him because she doesn't recognize him. He rejects her over and over again but Pinky just stubbornly decides to try and make him happy and then eventually she like accidentally burns his book, this like important book to him and then he gets really mad and then refuses to accept her apology but then because of a bunch of the things he said when Pinky was asking questions she was able to, to realize that this special friend he was talking about was living in the same town and so then he brought her over and then he was happy and I guess the message is kind of like I guess the message is actually kind of all about introverts and extroverts she said some people like you know just some some friends will like to play all the time and some just want to be left alone and that's fine like that, that was the message it's like okay well was it just just pain though because I mean it's like nothing happened again it's the same just it's just oh here's a minute of this is what's gonna happen in this episode then it's that shit happening for 18 minutes and then there's a minute of saying okay this is the lesson i learned that's every episode except for the handful of story-based ones so it's still boring and i don't know i mean i guess there was sort of a mystery element with what's what's this this donkey's history and then it was kind of an interesting story and then made sense as to why he was so depressed i guess it's also about opening up to people or something like this wasn't the worst episode, but at the same time, it's still horrible. It's so painfully upbeat. I don't know what rating to give this. Uh, 3 out of 10, I guess? I think there was a few points where there was something so stupid it made me laugh. But yeah, this is just so painful. 3 out of 10. Would never watch again.